Welcome back to Forward Progress presented by FanDuel. We are back with another edition of our Saturday Prop Show with Hitman by my side. I'm Jason Cooper. And listen, two weeks ago, not a good week. We were one and two. Our second losing week on the season, but it's week 11. Sorry, week 12 and week 11. Another two in one week for us here on the show. This week, though, I got to be honest, we only have two plays. It's a little bit of a thinner week. Six teams are on by. Hitman doesn't really like a lot of the props on the board, but we do have two plays for you, and we will dive right into them immediately. Stick around towards the end of the show, though, because we've got a little bit of a special, let's call it props breakdown for the Sunday night football game. Let's dive into our first prop here on the board, though. Um, Kansas City Chiefs taking on the Carolina Panthers. Hey, man, you're looking towards a rushing attempt total. You want to bet towards the over. So tell us a little bit about it here. Chuba Hubbard, Carolina Panthers running back, over 14 and a half carries, minus 120 at FanDuel. I think this line is a little bit deflated because of Jonathan Brooks coming back, but I'm pretty confident that Jonathan Brooks is, especially in game one, is just going to play the role that Miles Sanders played for the Panthers, which means that Chuba Hubbard is going to be the workhorse for the Panthers. Dave Canales said when asked about Brooks that he'll play, but he made, made sure to specify the offense still runs through Hubbard. Um, obviously one of the other factors that has this line so low, I believe in the Panthers last game against the Giants, it closed 18 and a half. Um, obviously one of the factors that has it low is the fact that they're 11 point underdogs against the chiefs, but Hubbard's went over this number in seven of his last eight games, his, his last five games, despite a lot of games, Carolina was losing by margin. Like a lot of those games, like Carolina gets down big and they do not get away from the run game. Let's face it. This is a team that does not want to put Bryce Young into a drop back passing game, even once they're down two, three scores. So I, I think that it, the game script and the Jonathan Brooks factor has deflated this line, but I think it's deflated it just a little bit too much. I, I play this up to minus 130. Minus 130 here, and uh, there's a couple 15 and a half. It seems like it's starting to move out towards uh, that, that higher number. If it's at 15 and a half, is that too high for you, Hitman? It's on 15 and a half. So there's a, minus, there's a minus 105 out there, but a lot of them are at minus one. There's a couple minus 105s, actually. A couple minus 110s uh, and some minus one. Yeah, 20, my, one my, minus 105 would be like borderline on it. Okay. I wouldn't go worse than that. Okay, uh, uh, the, now, as I scroll through the board, there's a couple more minus 105s out there at 15 and a half. So that, we'll call that the good two number here. 15 and a half minus 105. But on FanDuel right now as we're recording, 14 and a half towards the over. Minus 120 for Chuba Hubbard. All right, let's get into our next game here. We got the uh, Indianapolis Colts taking on the Detroit Lions. Hitman, you're looking at Anthony Richardson. Uh, tell us a little bit about it here. Yeah, Anthony Richardson over 39 and a half rush yards, minus 113 at FanDuel. The Colts ran Richardson 10 times last week, and it has the feeling like of him now returning that they're not going to they're not going to take it easy on him. Like maybe earlier in the season they were looking to not run him as much, preserve him a little bit because he has been uh so injury prone throughout his career, but we're at the point now of Richardson, like it's what was the quote that they gave in, in August or you don't tell Steph Curry to not shoot threes like Anthony Richardson. You got to find out if he's a franchise quarterback and it's they're going to have to run the ball with mm -hmm. this guy. So I think that the wheels, the, the training wheels are off for Richardson. The rush attempts are going to be there. The Lions are literally the best matchup for opposing quarterbacks to, to get rushing yards. They just this year, they've had Baker Mayfield 34, Kyler Murray 45, Geno Smith 38, Sam Darnold 29, Mason Rudolph 29. Like a lot of these guys are not even running quarterbacks that are getting a lot of rushing yardage against the Lions. The Lions are the heaviest defense in the NFL in man coverage rate, which leads to a lot of quarterback rushes. They have been one of the worst, they, they've been the worst defense the last three years under defensive coordinator Aaron Glenn. Uh, stopping opposing quarterbacks from running. So like this Richardson one, we'll go up to 41 and a half on it. Anthony Richardson, 39 and a half right now. The 40 and a half, uh, what, what number are you good to on that? Just, 40, just 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40. All right, 41 and a half minus 110 is what we're good to 
on that one. And I believe at FanDuel, it's one of the better prices out there uh, towards the over. Yeah, yeah, 39 and a half minus 113. One of the better prices out there on the board. Bet the NFL season on FanDuel, America's number one sports book. We absolutely love FanDuel here at Forward Progress with their amazing live odds menu that's super easy to use. Uh, they're great odds. And of course, they're anytime touchdown scorer markets. They oftentimes have the best price for the anytime touchdown scores. If you don't believe me, go take a look at them yourself. Go price shop them yourself. I love playing the anytime touchdown scores. And oftentimes when I'm line shopping out there, I find the best price for the guys I like is available on FanDuel right now. All customers can get a profit boost token every single NFL day. That means you can pump up your great iron winnings multiple times a week. This Sunday, we have a same game parlay profit boost token on any game on the NFL Sunday slate, as well as a Monday night football same game parlay profit boost token. FanDuel has tons of ways you can get in on the action. You can bet on money lines, spreads, player props, and so much more. Plus, with super simple live betting. Lightning fast bet settlements and instant withdrawals. FanDuel makes betting on the NFL easier than ever before. Just visit FanDuel.com forward slash forward progress to download FanDuel today. It must be 21 plus and present in select states or 18 plus and present in DC. Opt in required bonus issues as knowledge trouble. What prop boost token restrictions apply, including token expiration. See terms for both offers at sportsbook.fanduel.com. Gambling problem, call 100 Gambler or visit fanduel.com forward slash RG. Call 1 888 789 7777 or visit ccpg.org forward slash chat in Connecticut or visit mdgamblinghelp.org in Maryland. Hope is here. Visit gamblinghelpline ma.org or call 1 800 327 5050 for 24 7 support in Massachusetts or call 1 8778 Hope NY or text Hope NY in New York. All right, let's get into the Sunday night football game here. That's it for our plays, but hey, man, you mentioned that you have a little bit of an angle you want to talk about for the listeners here for the Philadelphia Eagles at the Los Angeles Rams Sunday night football game. Tell us a little bit what you, tell us what you're looking to attack here in the game once those lines are posted. Uh, just monitoring the what's going to happen with the Eagles uh, receiver. Um, John Dotson has been a guy that, despite even when he has got opportunities, he has not made the most of them. So. See what how inflated his number ends up c- coming in at. Uh, Johnny Wilson, if he ends up playing for, for the Eagles, if he's active, that's a big red zone threat that I know. He, I mean, I think he's six six. So if you're looking at maybe a dart anytime touchdown, maybe he ends up being the guy. What, what I think ends up happening, though, to be honest, is Philly goes a lot more 12 personnel. Uh, the tight end, I can't even say his last name, Grant Cal Cetra, however you say it. He, uh, he was pretty effective when uh, Dallas Goddard was out, and the Eagles have become a run-heavier team. So that would be how I'd expect the Eagles maybe adjust without Devontae Smith in this game. Grant Calcaterra is the look maybe this the tonight. And even Brayton Covey might be back for this game, so who knows what's going on there with the receiving core. But if you want to get a little bit more information on that game, you should check out our Sunday Night Football live watch-along here on Forward Progress. Uh, we'll be going live right before the game at 8 p.m. Rob Zoll will be back from his sickness, whatever that was. He'll be breaking down uh, his favorite props heading into the game. Then we'll go a little bit of a live watch on a little bit of recap of week 12. It's always been a lot of fun. One of our best shows we put out there. So if you're new to the channel and you want to check out our live watch, I'll make sure you subscribe uh, so that you don't miss out when we go live. And guess what? If you made it this far, that's the end of our video. That means you like our content. So please smash that like button. It goes a long way for us here in the algorithm. Guys, it's been a Saturday props edition of Forward Progress. Thank you so much for tuning in. We'll see you in the next one.